We're now going to create a contact page. First, we need to create a new app. So open your terminal and type python manage.py start app contact. Next, open try10 settings.py and add the app titled contact to install app, installed apps by typing contact. Next, open try10 urls.py. Into line 21, type from profiles import views as profile underscore views. And in line 22, add from contact import views as contact underscore views. Introduce profile underscore views and contact underscore views to the appropriate URL link. We'll do this by adjusting for contact in line 28. The URL for the contact page is slash contact. When a user goes to slash contact, a request will be sent to a view in the contact app, of course called contact. This URL is also named contact. We need to create the contact view. Open contacts views dot py. And into line four, type def contact request. Below that, context equals locals. Below that, template equals contact dot html. And on the final line, return render request template context. Create a folder in src contact and call it templates. In templates, save a new file as contact.html. Once that's complete, open contact.html. In your first line, type extends base.html. And then line 3 to 5, we'll be introducing a new contact, content block with a header contact between it. Open navbar.html and we're going to adjust for URL contact as contact. Onto line 17. We'll equally be doing this on line 21. Now that you've finished that, save everything, open up the terminal, and run python manage.py collect static. Run the server and go to the project's homepage. Click on Contact. The contact page is displayed. Contact is also highlighted on the navbar. Now that the contact page is working, we're going to make a contact form. Go to the following Django project link. This page explains the different types of Django form fields. We'll be using some of these fields when we make the contact form. To create the contact form, first, open a new file. We're going to save this file in src contact as forms.py. Open forms.py and in the first line type from Django import forms and then on line 3 class contact form forms.form. .form. We've defined a new form called contact form but you can call it whatever you'd like. Django handles the forms validation. We're going to create a few form fields. Into line 4, type name equals forms, care field, required equals false, max underscore length equals 100,
help underscore text equals 100 characters max. On the line below, add email equals forms dot email field and in brackets required equals true. And lastly, on line six, add comment equals forms dot care field and in brackets required equals true. Go to the following Django project URL. The right panel lists the different types of form widgets available. From the first example on this page, we're going to use the text area widget. Copy widget equals forms dot text area. Open contact forms dot py. And inside the comment care field, paste what you copied from the Django URL. Next, open contact views.py. The contact form needs to be imported into the view. So type from.forms import contact form into line 3. Next, the view needs to handle the contact form. So under def contact request, type form equals contact form and in brackets request dot post or none. On to line 9, add if form is valid. And lastly, on line 10, add print request.post. If there is post data and if the form is valid, the post data will be printed in the terminal. Django handles the form's validation. The form is rendered through the view's context. Open templates contact.html. And under your contact header, add the following lines of text. Onto line 6, add form method equals post action equals. On line 8, you'll be adding input type equals submit, value equals submit form, class equals btn, btn dash default. Because it is considered the best practice, we put the form inside of an HTML form tag. Method equals post means that this form is sending post data. Whatever URL action equals is the URL that this form will be submitted to. We'll leave action blank because we want this form to be submitted to the contact URL, and this form is already at the contact URL. The CSRF underscore token prevents cross-site forgery. All we really need to know is that the CSRF token is required by Django. It makes the form more secure. The form is displayed as a paragraph. Paragraph is a built-in method that renders the form as an HTML paragraph.
Save everything and go to the contact page. The contact form is now displayed. We will eventually use Bootstrap to make this form look better. Test the form out. Leave the form itself blank and hit submit form. The form doesn't submit and we're told which fields are required. Enter an invalid email and submit the form. An error message appears. The message says that the email address is not valid and that we must fill in the required fields. Put in a valid email address and then hit submit. Open up your terminal. The post data has been printed. The post data consists of a name, email, comment, and CSRF token. Open contact views.py. Type in printform.cleaned underscore data email into line 10. Now the posted email address is more neatly displayed. 